You got that barrel explosion. Yeah. And that ended up killing Amiibo King for it. Taking Amiibo King, yeah. That probably lost Amiibo King the, uh, the set there. Yeah, because really. if he was able to keep that percent on him, with that rage, he would have been able to rack up a good lead. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right now we got Runes versus Chris, I believe. Should be. Yeah, it's Runes versus Chris. Oh, yeah. Jeep yep. Runes. Is he sponsored by Jeep? I don't know. Jeep. <laughs> Yeah, I saw Runes uh, from a distance earlier playing Nebula. Nebula mm -hmm. going Villager. Yeah, I mean, Runes was doing a good job of just getting past the walls in that matchup, and just once he got in, he was able to rack up damage really well. Yeah. So right now we got Falcon versus Yoshi. Yeah. I feel like this is probably one of the tougher matchups for Falcon just because of the armor on Yoshi's jump and yeah, the fact that he has a lot of moves that can get him out of Falcon's combos. Yeah, it is hard to it is hard to combo Yoshi with that double jump. Yeah, yep. but Runes is doing a really good job. Yeah, I mean he hasn't taken any damage yet. Oh, as soon as we speak. Yeah. Yeah, and that might be another thing is that I think Yoshi can really body Falcon off stage. Yeah, I mean Falcon off stage is already bad, but against a Yoshi with the amount of tools he has. He can just egg you off stage, down air, yeah. forward air. Yeah, he egg. can reverse and ferry your up B. Yeah. I mean, he's basically got free reign over Falcon if he can get him off stage. Yeah. But right now, that seems to be the sticking point, just getting him off stage. Because Runes' neutral game, honestly, is difficult to fight. Yeah. I do like the way uh, Runes moves around. Yeah, because he does a nice bait game. Because he'll start running at you, then pivot the other way, start running away. I just keep doing that, just dash dancing, essentially. Yeah. Oh! He was calling him out there. That was such a hard call out. Yeah. Because if he had missed that, he would have been open for any sort of punish. But just killing him when he was at that percent, jeez. Oh. Yeah, Rune's doing a really good job right now. Seems like he knows how to fight Yoshi. Yeah. Um, I think he plays with Super, right? Yeah, I believe so. On top of that, uh, he's also got Regrault to deal with at the Smashfield Weeklies. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's that egg. Ooh. Good job just waiting as long as he needed to to be able to avoid that. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. Bruce has been doing a great job of just taking control of this match. Ooh, takes it with a jab yep. one, up smash. But he's still got 70% on Yoshi, and that's a pretty good head start. Oh, for sure. 80% with that uh, forward tilt. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh almost got him there, too. Yeah, Chris able to get to the ground in time, though, to shield that. Yeah. Getting him with these jabs and dash yep. tech. Got to get something going here. Yeah. Yeah, Runes doesn't really have to approach him at this point. Yeah. Ooh. Getting him with, catching these air dodges with that yeah. back air. I mean, yeah, Falcon is scary to fight, and you have this innate feeling that you just want to get out of the situations he puts you in. But yeah. you have to suppress that as much as you can because if Falcon can capitalize on it, oh, that's gonna be it'll be one. huge. Yeah. Yeah, Falcon definitely being like a momentum character, you got to not let him get too much momentum. Yeah. When he's running in on you, it can be like super intimidating and, and yep. hard to keep up with what he's trying to do. And that's one thing that Runes capitalizes on in his gameplay style, because he'll just start running at you and then back off to see what your panic options are, and then he'll abuse that for the rest of the match. Ooh, that's smart. That's definitely smart. Runes, a uh, very capable player. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been inching towards the upper echelon of the Smashers in yeah, Michigan. Yeah, for a while now, man. He's very yeah. solid. He's not somebody that you look in bracket and you're like, oh, okay, I, get, I can make it to the next round. You look at yeah. him in bracket and you're like, oh, man. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy match. Yeah. Already getting some good combos off on Yoshi. Backing yeah. Backing up some damage. I feel like his aerial approaches from Chris aren't really doing too much for him in this matchup because Chris has just been able to run away from him or run around from him. So yeah. 
Chris needs to find something new to work with in this match right now. It is true. Earlier in the, in the first game, he was uh, he would jump towards an air dodge a lot, like his, his yep. approach, and, and Runes was kind of catching on and reading yep. his air dodges. Yeah. Because, I mean, Yoshi honestly doesn't have too much of a ground game, to be honest. Right. I mean, the most he has is a dash, and his dash grab isn't really that good, and he doesn't really get too much out of it. Yeah. But in situations like this, if he can get his opponent above him, it definitely benefits him. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Prince was waiting for some sort of panic option, but getting nothing out of Chris. Still a really even game. Yeah. I mean, 107 to 109, that's definitely even right now. Oh, it's good for him to go above the ledge. Yep. Or he might have had to if... Uh Oh, he just got ledge drop now. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, going for that jab one. Uh, yeah. Up smash. Falcon able to fall fast enough to get back on the ground because flow to your characters, that's definitely an uh, easy setup to use on him to get that smash attack off. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I, ha I had a feeling he was uh, looking for Raptor Boost like a little bit earlier, but I, I wasn't sure if he was going to use it because I don't yeah. think he used it game one. No, and using it from that far was definitely not a wise choice. Yeah. Oh, was that an up air that just took that? Yeah. Oh, oh the oh. Amiibo King taunt counter. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a play from Dre's book. Yeah. Yeah, they're just trading back and forth right now really well. Yeah. We are seeing Chris escape some combos with that jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that super armor is definitely one thing you got to love having as a Yoshi player. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it helps. I mean, your recovery is poor without it. Yeah, I mean, your up B doesn't really get you that much height. It's really more of a zoning tool, honestly. Yeah. It can be hard to deal with, but certain characters, they can if, if they can read that you're going to egg, they can air dodge through it and punish you really hard. Yeah. So it's not the best projectile in the game, but it, it works well with Yoshi's air mobility. Yeah. Nice back air pushing him back off stage. Yeah, Chris has to be careful right now because he is definitely in knee kill range percent. Yeah. Yeah, Chris always jumping out, so it is going to be kind of hard for uh, Runes to secure a kill off of a grab. Yeah, because Runes, honestly, as Falcon, you need some sort of setup or a good read like that in order to get the kills. So yeah. if he can keep him off stage like that, it's definitely easier for him to get more chances to get a read. But in neutral like this, Chris can make a comeback. Oh, yeah. And we're both down on last stock here. Yeah. Runes has a really high percentage. Yeah. Able to just jump through those rapid jabs. Oh, if he had gotten the spike hitbox, that would have been game. Yeah, neither of them want to make a really hard commitment at this point yeah. because they know first person to make that mistake, losing that stock. Yeah, especially at this percent, like both characters can kill with fairly safe moves, so it's probably best not to go yeah. for uh, something too dangerous. Yep. Oh, oh reading there that we roll go. Back. Yep. I guess that's what he's, Chris was trying to telegraph earlier, running in and out like that, seeing yeah. for where you can get a roll read in. Yeah. So good stuff on Chris. Rune's definitely going to have to adjust a little bit, but it was so close. Yeah. It was basically Rune's game. Yeah, it's just going to be fine-tuning for him, honestly. I feel like at the end there, he just ended up picking a panic option. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we'll s I expect Runes to take him to, uh, yep. Town and City, definitely a stage that Falcons prefer. That's true. Yoshi doesn't do too bad on it with his up air kills, mm -hmm. but it's hard to get up air kills with Yoshi yep. when you're not in doubles. Yeah. Another thing is for Falcon, he definitely has a lot more room to just run around and try and bait out options on this stage. So it's not like you can back him into a corner easily and suppress that speed he has. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, he's trying to go for an early knee there. Yeah, that's definitely something you'll have to keep in mind on this stage when facing Falcon is on those platforms, it does stick you out a little closer to the blast zone. So you're definitely going to have to be careful of those kills off the side. Ooh, that was almost a dunk there. <laughs> yeah. And well, that's a really scary option to be involved, uh, that dare on your shield. Yep. Especially when Yoshi goes off stage like that, because he could, when you're at the ledge like that, he can just come back with uh, up air to continue the shield pressure. 
maybe even just poke through your shield because it's gotten so small. Yeah. Looking for a roll. Yeah, any sort of option right now where they can capitalize on it, like a whipped up smash. Yeah. Yeah, Chris definitely committing like a little bit too much with that. Mm -hmm. um, trying to read those rolls and get that kill. Don't really feel too confident about these forward air approaches he's using because if he doesn't space it right, it definitely puts him into enough end lag where Falcon will definitely be able to get a good punish in. Yeah, Falcon's quick enough for sure. It is, it is hard to punish these Yoshi air dodges because he does keep yeah. fading through them yep. and choosing like Nair or up air. Mm -hmm. um, when you jump air dodge like that, you yeah. see. Oh, good tech there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. wow. That Nair is going to kill from the from other the side. From the center of the stage. stage. Oh, we got, oh. We got Chris uh, <laughs> taunting, um, trying to call him out from the last game. Everybody's catching that taunt bug. Oh, Yoshi being heavy. There's no yep. rage on Falcon. That wasn't going to kill. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to get a dinosaur moving. Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaur with shoes. Those are weighted yeah. shoes. I've heard the best way to kill off Yoshi, though, is to footstool him into yeah, a pit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, that's classic from the old Super Mario games yep. when you jumped off Yoshi and yep. like, it tried to just get over the pit or whatever, Yoshi would drop. It's a footstool. Oh. Yeah. So it's staying true to the game. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh. Good rapid jabs, putting on a bit of percent there. Yeah. Yep. Definitely tied up. It's kind of been going like how we were saying, you know, like uh, I, I guess for both for both characters, once one gets momentum, uh, the other one's like has a hard yeah. time getting his ground, and then yep. like right now, Runes has the momentum, Yoshi trying yeah. to land, yeah, landing but with Bear. Yeah, but I mean, once either of them is in the air, it just hurts them so much. So Yoshi's got limited landing options. Yeah. Whereas for Falcon, his movement speed is basically cut in half. Yeah. Because he's definitely a lot faster on the ground. That's true. Oh, Bear just barely beating out that Nair, the knee coming out. Forward air. Trying to give him the bronze kneecap. <laughs> Pink kneecap in this situation. Yeah. Ooh. All of that. That'll do it. Here, yeah. Yeah. Chris shaking his head. Did yeah. I just die to a Captain Falcon back throw? Yeah. I feel like he should be going for some more down air approaches once he starts doing those fair approaches because it's look, looking like Runes was starting to power shield those in anticipation of what he was doing. Yeah. So if he had thrown out a down air, he probably would have caught him with that because he probably would have just gone for a power shielding the first hit. Yeah, that's true. Still would have got him a lot of shield pressure. Yeah. So, I mean, anytime you're just doing a lot of single hit aerial moves, try and mix it up with a multi-hit move whenever you can. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point. He did use the multi-hit um, back air to land one time, and that seemed to work for him. Yep. Puts him in the egg immediately. Yep. Oh, Falcon coming right out with some kicks. Just like that one combo, tying it up. Ooh. It has always a... Oh, oh my goodness. If he had gotten that because Yoshi's jump was gone, that probably would have been an early stock. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yoshi's air mobility definitely getting him out of that situation. Now, a lot of other characters, if they would have air dodged, it would have been completely over. Yep. Oh, good. Runes didn't get pineapple there. That would have been a bummer. Yeah, that's definitely a scary thing on this stage is anybody who has to recover low is getting underneath this stage because it is notorious for catching your recovery. Yeah. Townshell managed to catch it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, my goodness. So good by Rune. That saved that was him. so good. And that was bold because if that didn't catch him, he was dead because he was going away from the stage. Dude, that was an all or nothing. Wow. That was an all or nothing play. Good on Rune for doing that. Because yeah. now he's got a chance to rack on some more percent. Yeah. Because I thought he was dead after that down air. Yeah, me too. I was like, it's over. And then he just like pops up. Yep. He hugs Yoshi, hugs the dinosaur, throws him out <laughs> in the blast zone. Man. Yeah, what? Yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah, um, Chris needs to get this stock off of him as soon as he can. 
Chris definitely can, but this is a really tough climb. Yeah. It looks like he might be in his head like a little bit. Yep. Oh! Yeah, Need that stock. There. Wow. Bruins just took complete control of that match after that upbeat.